हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रैंडम एम्पलीफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलीमॉर्फिक डीएनए इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इन एम्पलीफिकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल इट आर और इट इज कॉल्ड एज रैपिड टेस्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी इट इज ए वट इज रैपिड टेस्ट इट इज ए डी एन ए मार्कर विच इज डिफाइंड बाय द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन द इंडिविजुअल इन टर्म्स ऑफ डी एन ए रीजन सो आइदर बाय विच इज गोइंग टू बी एम्पलीफाइड और नॉट गोइंग टू बी एम्पलीफाइड so we are going to use pcr uh, by using a random uh, because that's its name suggests so uh, slowly we are going to see it. so first basically you see this this is a genomic marker or genetic marker dna marker now what is genetic marker genetic marker is a gene or dna sequence uh, dna fragments uh, within the a specific location on the chromosome that can be used to identify the individual or a species so it is a place it is a dna fragment which normally we are going to use for the identification for the detection of different individual or different characteristic feature or different species it can be described as variations so if you are going to take dna sample from the two different organisms so there will be some variations uh, which may be because of the mutations or because of some other uh, regions other uh, means possibilities are there so those variations is going to be observed by this test so there are many different markers are there uh, we are having rapd rflp aflp scar ssr sslp so different one by one we will uh, talk about those things also so first uh, what is rapid test so it is random amplification of polymorphic dna rapid or pronounced rapid now if you see the name of this one it is called as random amplification means we are going to amplify the dna sequence randomly by using a random oligonucleotide random primers we are not going to use a specific primers against a specific sequences we are going to use a random primer so random oligonucleotide will be used and random amplification will be there uh, and by this one we are going to identify the polymorphic forms of dna it is a test which is normally based on pcr reactions but the segment of dna that are amplified are random so normally in the pcr what we are going to do in normal pcr we are going to take a primer for the specific target dna which is complementary to the target dna and then that target dna will be amplified but in the case of this rapid uh, it is random oligonucleotide will be there so randomly it will bind at the random place so that random dna is going to be amplified so we will see details uh, during the process also so rapid is normally different from the conventional P pcr as it is needs only one primer if you see the normal pcr what are the other requirements in the normal pcr we requires uh, two primers one for forward other one for reverse we require uh, tag polymerase yeah any thermostable polymerase then nucleotides magnesium and so we require here also we require all of those only difference is in normal conventional pcr we required both primer forward and reverse but here we are not going to need uh, we are not only requiring both forward and reverse primer we are going to use a random only one primer another difference between the conventional pcr and the uh, rapid pcr uh, is in conventional pcr the normal primer length can be up to 30 nucleotides or uh, so it uh, binds at a specific place because complementary regions will be there so it binds at the specific region and that's why we can go up to 30 nucleotides in case of this rapid normally we are going to take it is a smaller primer and that will be roughly 10 to you can go up to 15 nucleotides and therefore it is very less specific uh, compared to the primer uh, means uh, normal conventional pcr because it is are uh, not uh, complementary to the any target dna the primer can be designed without the experimenter having any genetic information for the organism being tested so whatever dna you are going to test so even if you don't know those sequences you can go for rapid test because we are going to use a random primer not a specific primer so we don't need any kind of genetic sequence informations here this technique rapid techniques was invented independently by two different labs on on the same year uh, that was uh, williamson et al in 1990 and wells and macleay uh, and in 1990 and they both have called it different tests like uh, williamson called it rapid test and wells and uh, macleay called ap pcr test that is arbitrary primer prime pcr 
later on it is uh, rapid test has been given to the name of this one what is the principle of this rapid test uh, in this test uh, the uh, it is a first i have told you first point is first uh, principle is it is a prime pcr based test so the principle is that a single sort oligonucleotide primer which binds to the many different places different loci is used to amplify random sequence from the dna template this means that the amplified fragment generated by pcr depends on the length and size of both the primer and the target genome because why its target uh, size means uh, primer size and the length of dna will be decided that we will see in the further examples the assumption is made that the given dna sequence uh, complementary to that of the primer will occur in the genomes so whenever we are going to use a random primer we assume that it will bind its complementary sequence somewhere it is present in our dna so this primer or random arbitrary primer will bind at some places of our dna and then it is going to be amplified by the pcr so amplified fragment roughly will be of a smaller length that will be 0.5 to 5 kb ranges and these will be separated by gel electrophoresis and then polymorphism can be detected after the visualization of the dna bands so this is the normal pcr now why primer length we are going to take uh, not very large up to 30 nucleotide or not very small uh, we can so what is the reason of that one roughly if we'll see here uh, the primer oligonucleotide length if we are going to take 26 to 30 nucleotide long uh, primer design so roughly probability of binding of this primer to the dna will be 1 out of this 4 to the power 26 why this 4 to the power 26 because we are having four different type of nucleotide so 4 to the power length of the primer so that much binding will be there uh, after this much nucleotide at one place it will binds if you are going to calculate this one it is going to come give you value of 4 multiplied by 10 to the power 15 so approximate number of the bond primer is uh, 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 uh, which is normal length of our dna uh, nucleotides in our cells in human cells which is divided by this many number of binding place. So if you are going to calculate it, we are going to get 2.2 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. And that value will be because it is too uh, small value, so it is almost equal to 0. It means primer is not going to bind at, at all places. So if we are going to take an arbitrary primer of 26 base pair, it will not bind even a single place on the our genome that is uh, hypothetically means or you can call it theoretically it is like that one only if you are going to take a primer length of 7 base pair so the probability of binding is 1 in out of 4 to the power 7 because 7 is the length of the primer if you are going to calculate it it will be 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 so approximate how many places it will bind on our dna human genome so this is our genome size divided by 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 if you calculate this one it is coming roughly 625,000 means 100 6, 62,500 places 62,500 means it is too many places if primer will bind at that many places so you cannot analyze those many different gene sequences in a single band or single place so that is too difficult to analyze it so this is you can see here it is binding at the many places now if you are going to take a primer If you are going to take a primer length of 13 base pair, uh, so probability of binding is 1 out of 1 in 4 to the power 13. Again, 13 is the length of the primer. So if you are going to calculate it, it will come 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. So approximate number of binding, how many places it is going to bind to the DNA. So it will be 1 out, uh, multiplied by 10 to the power 9 divided by this number. So it is equal to 15 means this is a small number, but it is finite number. Uh, so primer will bind at this many places. And when primer will bind at these many places, this can be elongated. So it will give you different sizes of DNA fragment along means uh, null. Now, uh, whatever DNA fragment we are going to get in uh, means uh, expanded DNA or elongated DNA after the PCR reactions. So that will be analyzed on the gel electrophoresis. So now here is an example that uh, we have uh, these are the four different uh, animals which if you can see these are the three different animals which are having the same color uh, body color 
and this dog is having different color so either some of the genes is different from this one because characteristic of these three dog is different from this dog it means certainly there are some gene extra gene this dog is having or something is missing here so when you are going to do a uh, this one uh, rapd for these four animals so almost all the genes will be same but either there will be some extra gene locus gene uh, dna fragment you can find it in this case of dog or you can uh, this dog is going to miss some kind of things that's why they are having a different color so that can be visualized on the gel electrophoresis so this is called as polymorphic band so this dna which is missing in other animals so this is a polymorphic band and the all other dna which is present in all the animals and all the similar type of species they are called as um, monomorphic band now uh, here you can uh, you will be understand easily this is the one uh, uh, animal means the one colony so we have taken dna from one colony we have uh, dna from the another colony another organism so both are going for rapd so both will be amplified and after amplifications when gel electrophoresis will be there so you can see here there are some of the bands which is common in both the uh, species uh, there are some bands which is missing uh, means they are different so those bands which is common in both the uh, species they are called as monomorphic band and those uh, so this band is common so because of this one characteristic feature will be the same but there are some uh, dna fragment which is present in a but it is missing in b or there are some uh, dna segment which is present in b but missing in a means the characteristic feature character uh, uh, which is present in a and the characteristic which is present in b are different and that differences is because of these dna fragments means there is a variation in their genomic size genetic size so the common genes are called as monomorphic bands and the differences dn different dna are called as polymorphic band so variations in the dna can be analyzed can be uh, evaluated by this rapd test there are certain advantages and disadvantages of this test is there first advantage is because it is a pcr based test so it is a very fast test uh, easily very fast you can get the result uh, compared to other marker tests like and in this case we are going to use arbitrary, arbitrary uh, nucleotide sequences primer sequences so no sequence information of the target dna is needed at all so and uh, compared to like other tests which is called as uh, rflp so compared to rflp we don't require any kind of dna probe here uh arbitrary primer can be easily purchased because it is already available in the market so you can just order and you can purchase it compared to R rapd uh, sorry rflp we are not going to use any kind of blotting any kind of hybridization steps because this is a pcr based test so a small amount of dna sample is sufficient uh, to perform this test we don't require a uh, high more amount of dna sample here Uh, whether other tests which is not pcr based tests there you require sufficient high amount of dna sample to perform the experiments disadvantage is it because every time you are going to perform this test uh, it will have reproducibility will not be there means in the same lab if you are going to perform this test two times you may get the different result or the same time from the same sample if two different labs are going to perform uh, so result will not be the same because randomly primer can bind at random places so uh, it is not very much sure that it every time it will bind at the same dna same places so that is low reproducibility reproducibility is there and because of this one there are many journals which you know who is not not going to accept no page paper which is based on this rapd test so they avoid this type of papers because it is not having any kind of reproducibility then this rapd marker is a dominant markers because if uh, dominant means even a single allele will be there it can give you the characteristic feature so if i am having a, G, a dna of single allele heterozygous even that heterozygous can give you positive result means you can get a, get a band uh, by heterozygous dna also it means uh, it is a dominant character that's why heterozygous dna is going to give you the character so rapd markers are presence of heterozygous rapd marker is a dominant marker it is a dominant because single allele is also going to give you positive markers but absence is a recessive marker because if both the alleles will be missing then only it will be absent otherwise presence of single allele is positive 
सो एबसेंस इज द रिसेसिव मार्कर एबसेंस ऑफ आर एपी डी मार्कर इज एबसेंस इज ए रिसेसिव वेर एज प्रेजेंस इज डोमिनेंट मार्कर a mismatch between the primer and the template may occur so that's why i have told you every time you are going to perform this test you may get different type of results uh, because it is a pcr based test so any factors which is going to affect the pcr will give you a different meant which will also affect your rapd processes so that time you have to uh, take care of all these things and so last inform important information important parameter is contaminants because it is a pcr based reaction so even any kind of contaminant by any organism will give you a wrong type of dna sequence dna fragment you will get it why you will get it because it is a pcr so a small amount of dna can be uh, copied can be uh, pcr will give you many copies of that dna so that will give you a wrong result so these are the some of the advantages and disadvantages where we are going to use this uh, rapd test mainly for the uh, study of genic, uh, any kind of genetic diversity uh, polymorphic uh, behavior of the genes population analysis evolutionary studies uh, some kind of uh, usage of some kind of uh, genes analysis like uh, you can call it herbicides effect uh, any toxin effects species differentiation so these are the there are different usage of this rapd test there are many variants of rapd is also available like one variant is arbitrary primed pol pcr reactions which already we have seen it that was discovered along in 1990s only by the different groups so there they have used a long arbitrary primer than the rapd in rapd we are using roughly 10 to 15 base pair oligo oligonucleotide but in case of arbitrary primed pcr they have you can use a long primer sequences dna amplification uh, fingerprinting daf there normally we are going to use a shorter primers than the rapd so it will bind at the many places and many different uh, small fragment uh, large number of fragments we can get it and the multiple arbitrary amplicon profiling map the, uh, this is to collective terms uh, for techniques using single arbitrary primers so these are the different variations there are number other variants are also there but these are the, these three are the important one so this is all about for today uh, next day we will i will come with the another video uh, which is on rflp if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe it thank you very much have a nice day